Next DevTools. The Vue.js Amsterdam conference was held this week and it was a great success, with developers from all over the world gathering to learn more about the latest developments in the Vue.js framework. One of the highlights of the conference was the review of Nuxt DevTools, a new tool aimed at improving the developer experience in Nuxt. It was demonstrated by the incredible Anthony Fu, who is one of the main contributors in GitHub. In order to enable Nuxt DevTools, we need some prerequisites. First of all, we need to have Nuxt version 3.1.0 or higher. Make sure to use Node version 16 or higher, as I initially tested with Node 14 and experienced some issues. In the official GitHub documentation, there are two ways to enable DevTools. The first one is using the opt-in per project command from your project root. The second is installing it manually as a module and then adding it to the next config.ts in modules. I personally recommend using the second approach as there were some issues for me trying to use the opt-in method. Once that is done, restart your dev server. You will be able to see the next DevTools peeping at the bottom of your screen. Once you open the DevTools, you are presented by an overview of your app. Here you can find your version of Nuxt as well as how many pages, components, imports, modules and plugins your app is using. You can also find some useful links such as the ideas and suggestions link to GitHub where you can suggest new ideas. There is also the project roadmap and a way to report bugs. For now DevTools appears as a small ribbon on the bottom of your screen, but you can also toggle it to be on the left, right or even on the top side. In the Pages tab you can see all of the routes you have in your app. You can use the search bar to see if a URL matches accordingly to your routes and press enter to navigate to it. What is more, you can click on the little icon next to the route to open the corresponding view file in VS Code. The Components tab in Nuxt DevTools provides a comprehensive view of all your components present in your app. The tab allows you to search for components, go to their source files in your editor or view a graph of how components interact with each other. You can also inspect the DOM tree and see which elements are being rendered by which components. The Components tab helps you better understand your app and its structure, making it easier to debug and optimize. The Imports tab will show a list of all auto imports registered to Nuxt. You can see in which files they are used, they can also be short descriptions or links to documentation. In the Modules tab you can see all the modules that have been installed and more information about them. The team behind Nux DevTools has said that it plans for users to be able to have one-click installation of modules right through the app. In the App Config tab you are presented with information from your public as well as your private runtime configurations. Moreover, you can also edit or add variables straight from this tab. In the Payload tab you can monitor the current state and data. This makes it easy to know exactly what you get from each API request or locally stored data. Also, everything here is changeable and reactive so that you can debug it more easily. The Hooks tab gives you an overview of all hooks and life cycles in order. This tab can be very useful for testing performance and monitoring at which point you, is your app behaving slow and where is the bottleneck. There is also the possibility for module authors to extend DevTools with their own custom tabs. In the image, you can see how ViewUs have integrated their docs into Nux DevTools. More examples include Uno CSS style inspector or the Vitest integration to run tests directly from DevTools. The current implementation relies on embedding your own hosted page via an iframe. This is not the best experience, but I believe it's a matter of time the amazing team behind Nux DevTools creates a better approach for extensibility. You can go ahead and explore DevTools in your own application. I hope you are excited for the future of Vue and Frontend as I am. In the next video we will be looking at Nuxt content and how to use it to create our own blog. Make sure to follow me so you don't miss out. Bye bye.